This is one of my products, fresh off of the Saturn IV from Elegoo. It's a resin 3D printer with a lot of great new features in this generation, including this, the flip top lid. But as you'll see, my experience hasn't been perfect. Next to it is the Saturn III, and this was my Saturn II that was in the spot where the IV is now, and it's got some issue with resin behind the screen, so I'm using that as the catalyst to finally get this thing out of the box and set up. And let's first grab some resin and the first feature i want to talk about is this great pour spout in the vat and this hinge is great it holds it at all these angles so it's not going to come slamming down too easily as long as it doesn't wear out over time or something and the next thing is the quick release of this build plate you don't have to spin a knob a bunch of times like the older generations and it's etched on the bottom so it holds onto your print a little better here I am creating a slicer file to run on it, and here's something kind of annoying, is getting the USB drive in there, if it's in close quarters, it's uh, it's hard to reach in there. But I managed to get it there, and I'm stoked, gonna start this first print. I don't think that anything could go wrong at this point. Ooh, I've exceeded the amount of resin I could put in there. And yeah, I filled it up past the max line, but I always did that with the Saturn II and the Saturn III, and it was never a problem. There was this degree of safety where they put the max line lower than it needs to be, but all right. Now it's clearly below the max line, so good to go. Or so I thought. Yeah, it's still a problem. Okay, so I go and I pull some more resin out, and here we go. Maybe not. I'm clearly below that. So I think maybe there's a sensor or something that's being hit. So I try to clear the extra resin off and try it again. It's at this point that I get the error again. And I notice the sticker about not exceeding the max line. Well, I'm not exceeding the max line. And also I understand that you don't want me to destroy my machine, but I'm an adult. Let me print. Here I am restarting it and seeing if that would work and it does not. So let's pull some more resin out. Now I pull out a lot more and success. I finally have it printing and now I'm just going to give it some time to do its thing and it is going fast, boy. All right, I'm back after a few hours and let's see how things look. Gorgeous. And in two hours and 22 minutes, these things turned out phenomenally. And that was about twice as fast as with some of my other printers. Now, I contacted Elegoo before finishing this video about the issue I was having. And they said that the vat should hold 800 milliliters of resin. And I can't tell you how much I initially put in there or how much I was pulling out each time. But regardless, I wish there was a way for me to bypass it. Like when that error comes up, give me a button to say print anyway. I know you're trying to protect the printers, but I did not have too much resin in there. It, it, it was not going to overflow. It wasn't even close to at risk of overflowing once the plate goes down in there. But, you know, maybe that's something that will be worked out in a later firmware update. One last really important thing to note is that the build volume on the Z-axis, the up and down, is a lot smaller than on the Saturn II or Saturn III, which affects me because one of my most popular products is pretty tall and it can't print on this thing. But overall, I love it. It's super fast. It has all these upgrades in terms of features from the previous generation, and I think you'll dig it too.